in today's video, I'm gonna... What am I gonna do? I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Ah! Focus! Is it focused? Can't stop. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Poppy, and if you haven't seen my face before, um, I do... I've started a YouTube channel, I say I do, but I've made one video because I'm lazy AF. I have two Nissan Skylines. Wow. I'm going to be wide body in one of them, so that's going to be another video. Um, but in today's video, we are going to pick up my new motorbike, and I'm so excited because this new motorbike isn't new whatsoever. It's really old, and it's a project motorbike. Um, because if you've come from my Instagram, then you'll know just how stupid I am. I buy old Japanese cars and I've had my fair few share of them now. Um, I don't actually know how many I've had now. I've had quite a few cars. They, I've had a had 300 ZX. I've had a twin turbo GTO and I love that car. And if you guys know me, then you'll know how much I miss and love that car every day. Um, I feel like I cry about it all the time, but I sold it and I shouldn't have done. Um, I'm, I'm into my cars, I love my cars, but recently I passed my motorbike license, my full DAS. Um, I don't know where in the world you're from, but in the UK we have to do a thing called a CBT. Um, and then if you're 24 and over, you can do your DAS, which enables you to ride unrestricted power. Oh, gosh, I'm just hitting everything. Uh, unrestricted power if you're over 24. If not, I think you're restricted to like, is it like 50 brake horsepower, I think? I'm not too sure. But um, I passed my full motorbike license. So I'm just I'm just ready to get out there right now on a bigger bike because I've been stuck on my 125 Gixxa for too long. It feels like an eternity. If any of you have a 125, now I know in America, a lot of you guys, I don't know how it works, but I think your starter bikes are like three, 400 cc. Anyway, 400 cc in America. I know you guys have, your starter bikes which are 400 cc's aren't they i'm pretty sure i don't know but in the uk because we are the uk and they just love making everything 10 times more annoying for us uh we have to start on a cbt which is 125 50 50 cc to like 125 i think it is um and then you if you're over 24 you can go and do your unrestricted license which is what i did so i can now ride anything I want. I could go out tomorrow and buy a turbo booster if I wanted to. And now I'm not going to because I'd literally kill myself with one of them. A few people guessed on my Instagram and they were like saying, have you got a turbo booster? And I'm like, no, I got a pfft. What do you think I am? I'm gonna just spat on my lens. I hope there's not like bits of spit all over it. Um, no, I have not bought a turbo hire booster. Have you seen the size of me? I am five foot three. I say five foot four, but I'm not five foot four. I'm five foot three and I'm, t I'm small. I'm a small person. How on earth am I gonna, like, I've seen turbo heart boosters. They are massive. I look like a toddler on one of them. Like, I'm, it's not a turbo booster. So if you guys are watching this video thinking I've bought a turbo booster, I haven't, okay? But what I have bought is old and Japanese. It's from the 1990s. It sounds like an F1 car. So if you already guessed what I've bought then, hats off to you, you know your bikes. Um, but, it's a different bike. Um, you don't see it all the time though. It's not the big bike that I'd initially planned on buying. But I saw this bike and I thought, I might not get another chance to buy one of these for a long time, if ever. Yeah, I took the leap, bought a bike without seeing it. I'm gonna go and see it and pick it up tonight and pray that it's okay. Because if it's not, then I've just wasted all that money. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't think it'll be a waste of money. Hopefully not, I keep telling myself this. I did this with the R32, I was like, oh yeah, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. And yeah, I've had, I've had a few things with that car, but it's been worth it because I love the car. And it's, and I think this will be the same with the bike. If I have a lot of work to do with it, then maybe it won't be the worst thing in the world. I don't know, I'm trying to convince myself now because I've just dumped money and it's gonna be a bit of a money pit and I know that. So why can't I be a normal person and just go out and buy like an R6 or something? Or like, I don't know, a Gixxer or, you know, just be normal. Why do I have to go out and buy an old Japanese bike that has like a, what a show. I've never had a car or a bike. Even the Skylines, they're not old enough. Oh, my neighbors started drilling something. Right, so I'm gonna have to wrap this up because they've started their building works now. I can't be listening to them going on. Right, I will see you guys uh, later on in the video. So, yeah. A few moments later. Um, 
so it's the next morning. We didn't get any footage going in collecting the bike apart from the crappy Enterprise van that we rented. We got some footage, didn't we, of um of it like beeping because the seatbelt sensor wasn't working, is that what it was? Right, so underneath that cover is my new bike. So if you just want to follow me, I'll take you on a journey. Right, so so many of you said Hayabusa. It's not a Hayabusa as well, clearly. Um, yeah, I'm gonna uncover it. Should I uncover it from the front or the back first? What do you reckon? Yeah. What it is? <coughs> come here, come here, come close, come close. Can you all guess from the tail lights? In the fact that it says Honda there, <laughs> you're not frightened. <laughs> How's that going for you? <laughs> Ta-da! This is my NC29 400RR. Oh my god! Wow! Recording. <laughs> Recording. Right, okay. As you all can tell, I'm missing quite a few fairings from this bike because it's a street fight and arm makes it so much lighter. Like, I can overtake, like, S1000RRs now on all kinds of bikes. So, like, if you want to race, bring it on. No, no, seriously, like, for real, it's missing most of its fairings. Okay. I'm trying to think what to say. What was I saying? Yeah, right. So, to the untrained eye, I have bought a really expensive bike that has no fairings. The fork seals are leaking. It doesn't have an MOT and it hasn't had one for a few years. Um, God knows when it's our service was. It smokes so much when we turn it on, doesn't it? Yeah. Dog is out today, I swear to God. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna start it up, you know. Watch it not start now. It's got a manual choke. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> I don't understand this choke thing like. How do you do it? Do you pull the choke out? Yeah. Telling me I've got loads of lights on, is that alright? What's ignition? <laughs> <laughs> this thing out and it makes it start but you've got to get it just right or it doesn't start and it doesn't stay on and apparently in the winter it's even worse so that's gonna be fun I'm trying it with full choke nope. I'm fettling with the idler screw now One eternity later. Oh! 
running now. I know it wasn't me that got it running, it was Nan. But I'm going to give it a little bit of a rev, so... subscribe comment on it i don't know if that does anything uh follow my uh, instagram as well which is our thankful poppy but i know a lot of you will be coming from there but i'm gonna be like when doing riding it in the winter doing it in the winter i'm gonna be riding it in the winter uh, i'm gonna be we're obviously gonna like do redo the seals on the forks we've got a lot to do with this bike like i'm pretty sure the wiring isn't too good it looks pretty crispy so um my channel's gonna be now motorbike and car focus we're going to be wide body in the r32 skyline as well so that's for you car car people but for you bike lot i'm going to start doing track days and all kinds of uh, all kinds of malarkey with this so yeah track days daily in an old bike i've never been on track before so i will be documenting that um yeah and i just want to bring you along on my motorbike journey because i've just started it and i'm just as excited as all you lot thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video